Hey guys, how's it going? We're at the plant barn today. I had an exciting shipment come in. So Monrovia sent out a ton of plants to me and they dropped them off at the plant barn. I'm here to pick up my order and it is a ton of stuff and it's really, really cool stuff and I'm so excited to show you, but they got their load in. And so I wanna show you guys what they have. So if you're in the area, come check it out because they just got the best shipment in. They have everything here. So let's go inside and go check everything out because it is spilling out into the road. So out here we have some edibles. These are all berries and a couple star jasmine. There's some wisteria back here. You know how I feel about wisteria. Lots of edibles. These are some blueberries. I have one of these. Lots of berries. Over here, look at these topiary. These are so pretty. These are Monterey Bay Brush Cherry. They're 134, which is not bad for like a two ball topiary. And look at all these cone flowers down here. They're so pretty. I think I'm gonna try to grab one of these. Shrubby U, 54, and they're huge, 10 feet tall, four feet wide. I think I'm gonna have to grab one of these. They're really, really pretty. And then they have some standards. I think these are hibiscus. Where's the tag? Look at this, Jazzy Jewel Amber Hibiscus. They're so pretty. All of these really, really good things. We haven't even made it inside. What is this? Desert Museum Palo Verde. 25 feet by 25 feet. Zones eight through nine. Look at the new growth on that. And the flowers. That's pretty. And then, of course, Forest Pansy. Red bud, I have one of these. 20 feet tall, 25 feet wide. It looks like it's obviously done budding, but uh, it's done flowering, but all the buds have come out. So let's go in and see everything. They've got so much stuff in here. What is this? This is a gardenia. It's massive. It's 89, five feet tall, three feet wide. Huh. That's really cool. Coming over this way, a giant magnolia. Oh my gosh. It's this little gem dwarf, 25 feet by 15 feet, zones seven through nine, 230. Oh wait, look, they got some more of these yews. These ones are a little bit taller. They have eucalyptus, silver dollar eucalyptus. The smell is amazing, 40 feet by 40 feet. Oh my gosh, it's perfuming the air right now. That smells so good. Look at, they got some oak leaf hydrangeas, ruby slippers, Seaside Serenade Martha's Vineyard. I have one of the Seaside Serenade ones. Um, mine's called Glacier Bay. It's really, really pretty. Okay, but let me show you my my plants that I'm coming home with. This entire thing right here is coming to my house. We'll talk about it all when we get home, but I have some helianthus right here that I'm really excited about. So some sunflowers. Look at this hookra. Isn't that so pretty? This is called Red Lightning Hookra. I've got roses. I have some butterfly bush, some dwarf ones. This one gets five feet by five feet, a beautiful purple color. I've got lots of roses. Here's one right here, Itsy Bitsy Peach. I love this color. You guys know it's one of my favorites. This is Ignition White Salvia. I love salvia. This is gonna be so pretty and the butterflies are gonna love it. So there are lots of plants in here and then I'm gonna pick up a few more things while I'm already here. Here comes Bailey with the first load. Someone tried to buy this one. Somebody tried to buy my plant. And I was like, I can't tell that to you. <laughs> I bought five of these, a Vision in Red, a Stilby, and then this Coneflower. I think this will be really pretty in a pot. Sunny days lemon good little haul the car is full totally full <laughs> and that's the scooter that Janie used for my grandparents and i brought it up i forgot that it was back here but we got everything in here it's all tucked away let's get home we're back home i may have taken a little nap ski 
my car is locked. <laughs> I had to change my shirt though because um, I was covered in dog hair. You know, you know how it is around here. So I gotta get this unloaded now, now that I'm still tired. <laughs> so let's get all this unloaded and uh, probably get everything watered too. Cause I'm sure it's all thirsty. So let's, let's water everything. First off, have you ever seen a poppy this big? It is huge. I don't even know how to show you this. This thing is massive. It's like as big as my head is, but the stem is literally this long on it. It's an oriental poppy and it comes back every single year. It's just so pretty. Look at the inside of it. Isn't that so cool? It just looks unreal. It's like iridescent black. It's massive, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go put this in a vase inside really quickly. There's another one inside here. I think I'm gonna pull this one out also. Usually they're absolutely massive, but they're all short this year. I can see, look at this. They're all super short. I don't know what's up with that. So I think I'm just gonna have to move everything over to right here just so I can like keep it watered because I've got a hose right there. So it'll just, I'm gonna make a giant pile right there. <laughs> You guys, this is insane. This is so exciting. There are some gorgeous things here. Look at this hoopra. As I had pulled up to the plant barn, somebody else literally had grabbed it and they were checking out and Bailey was like, look at this hoopra, look at this hoopra. And uh, <laughs> they only had the one that they had brought in for me. Monrovia had sent one just for me and somebody had tried to snag it and buy it and Bailey had to tell them, oh, I'm sorry. This one's actually already been sold to me. So, um, look at this. Isn't that amazing? That is gonna be so pretty with these other hookahs. I'm gonna do like all of them together. I just think that's so interesting. This is probably gonna be one of my new favorites. This is the Red Lightning Hookra. It's just gorgeous. It gets 11 inches tall, 16 inches wide big golden leaves, dark red veins, zones four through eight. I am in zone nine and they do come back for us. And you can see it's got some bloom spikes in there. There are just a ton of plants here. Some that I'm really, really excited about. This rose being one of them. You guys know I really like roses. Look at this, it's called Itsy Bitsy Peach Miniature Rose. It only gets 18 inches tall, 24 inches wide, zones four through nine. That color is gorgeous. And this is what I'm most excited about. It's this helianthus called Brown Eyed Girl. It's unbelievable. Uh, three feet tall, three feet wide. It says it's hardy in zones 10 and 11, but I don't know about that. Um, but it says heat tolerant annual, producing over a thousand sunflowers in a single season from spring until frost. Dense mounding sunflower, borders, containers, planted in full sun, non-stop blooms. Isn't that insane? I've got three of them. That is gonna be 3,000 sunflowers just from three, just from three plants. I'm so excited to get these planted. So here we go, guys. We're getting planted. We're going Monrovia. We're getting all of the details about everything. Oh, also this blueberry. I think I did talk about it. Um, it only gets four feet tall, four feet wide, low chill hours. So those of us in California, we can grow this. It's called Bountiful Blue. I learned about this when I was at Monrovia. You can see it's finishing flowering and it's already starting to form up berries. Isn't that so exciting? Oh, so this is gonna be so much fun to get all of this planted. I'm so excited about a lot of this stuff. It's just gonna be so good. So I think that we should plant something right now. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. We're not gonna get any planting done. This is actually where I'm gonna end the video because it's starting to get extremely cloudy out and super windy out. So um, I don't wanna be sitting out here. Having my I did go back there and I put my phone in the tripod and it did blow over and I don't wanna do that anymore because um, it's, it's not good for the camera. So I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. I'm so excited to show you guys all of these plants and um, go over all the specs of everything and 
really just start talking about Monrovia. This is going to be such a huge thing and they've got such quality plants and I just, I can't wait to take you guys along with me for this ride. It's going to be so much fun and we're going to do a lot of learning together and we're going to learn about some really, really cool plants and it's just a company that I'm really happy to be working with and I just, I just can't believe that it's happening. It feels very surreal to be able to go to a garden center and to be able to pick up a bunch of plants and so Thank you to all of you for making this possible because without you guys, this would never have happened. And so for all of you guys that have been cheering me on and supporting me and making it so that this could even happen is just, I, I can't say thank you enough. So thank you guys for coming along with me all the time on all of my adventures, all of my crazy ideas and sometimes my very slow ideas, but I just, I appreciate it. I appreciate your guys' continued support and I can't wait to show you guys all of these beautiful plants and where they go in the garden and what happens with them and how they grow. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. So thank you guys again from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>